There are tens of thousands of Haitians living away from their countries for different purposes. Some of them are looking for a better education, while others are running away from economic and political issues from the country. Those who remain in the island are braced to face the economic struggle and try to survive the conflict between each other due to their political beliefs. Yet, there is a meal that they consume on the first day of every year which always keeps them united as one nation no matter what social class they belong to and no matter what part of the globe they are located. That is pumpkin soup. Hi. Meaning land of mountain in the Awak Indians language is a small island in the Caribbean occupied by the Awak until the Spanish arrived in the New World in 1492. Due to the resistance of the natives against the Spanish for the sake of their land and their freedom, they were killed in great numbers. About a hundred years later, they were nearly extinct. By the middle of the 17th century, Haiti had become France's most important territory and goes by the name of Saint-Domingue. Because of the importance of the sugar canes in the colony, the French colonizers imported slaves from different parts of Africa so they could work on the farm. Since the slaves were captured from different tribes in Africa, they could not understand each other once they arrived on the island. As a result, a universal language was born so all the slaves could understand each other. This language was called Creole. Started in the late of 18th century, a 13-year war for liberation was led by Jean-Jacques Dessalines and Henri Christophe. This made the country the first black republic to declare its independence on January 1st, 1804. The blacks hunt the French colonizers out of the country. They ripped off the color white from the heart of France's flag to give birth to a new flag. And then a new country was born using the original name, Haiti. Pumpkin soup is made of a squash uh, called in our language Jumu, that's the Creole one. And uh, it is um, made by all families on the first day of the year. That uh, represents the symbol of Haitian independence and unity. This is Paul, one of the tens of thousands of Haitians living thousands of miles away from his country, Haiti, but keeps the tradition of as he never left. Celebrating on um, 1st January is, uh, is very important for like every Haitian people in general. It's like, I, I still remember when I was in Haiti, like, the way we used to celebrate is like everybody in the neighborhood, we all get together as one family whether we know each other or not, having a good time. since I was a little girl every year. I look forward to help my mother on the kitchen by cutting the vegetables and clean them at the same time. Uh, while I'm in the kitchen, she showed me the step that I need to follow. It took me many years before I learned how to prepare the soup. You won't be able to make it without having somebody who's already know how to make it beside you to show you the step because you have to know 
what to put first and what to put last and if you can follow all those steps it will be very easy for you for anybody to prepare it The French colonists were eating that soup, you know, for, to celebrate the first day of the year. And the slaves couldn't eat that soup. They, they have to eat only the bread soup or the, um, some piece of cassava or a piece of yam or a piece of potato, you know, things like this, things that they are allowed to eat. Then when on January 1st, 1804, to prove that now they are free, free to do, you know, what they couldn't do before, and they make a big pot of soup, that soup, uh, um, that's quite soup, the jomo soup, and then for them, you know, to prove to, to everyone that this is the, the, the year, this is the day of freedom. Now that I'm living in the United States, it's like uh, I lived in Haiti like about nine years ago, but the tradition is still playing a very important role for me and, my, and the rest of my family. Because like, even my sister, me and my sister, my brother, we all live like, far away from each other, including my parents. But that day, that's the day that actually we all actually like, meet in one place to talk about everything that happened within the year that like, we all um, spent away from each other. Celebrating Provision Day is not just a day to celebrate our Independence Day, but also it's a day to honor those who were slaves, those who fought for our independence, even our, our, our great father, those who passed this tradition from one to another. And my son was born here in the United States, and the tradition will still go on. I'm just going to pass it on to my kids, and my kids are going to pass it on to their kids, and it's still going to keep on going. In Haiti, some of the citizens are rich, while others are poor. Some of them are educated, while others are not. Some of them prefer to live in the country, while others rather live in the city. Some of them even live overseas. They are Christian and Buddhist. They fight each other because their political belief is different. However, there is a soup that they all drink on the first day of the year for the same purpose. One soup that keeps them united as one nation regardless of their difference or how far they are living from the country. That is pumpkin soup.